Hey everybody, I got some art supplies to share for you. With you, I went to um, the local Jerry's Art Aroma and it's called online, it's called yourartsupplies.com. It's a sister company to Jerry Art. It's not a Jerry's Art Aroma, but yet it is. So um, it's like a sub company of Jerry's Art Aroma, the way I understand it, but they were having a fantastic fantastic clearance 2020 sale so I was lucky enough to pick up some supplies for some really good prices um, so I did get a bunch of paper I got um, some arches paper these pads were on sale the hot pressed 140 pound um, 12 sheets were um, on sale for I just had that oh Here's my, I got a, I got a lot. They were on sale for $14, $14.43. So I got a couple of them. The rough was on sale for $14.43. So I got a couple of hot pressed and a rough. I've never painted on rough. So I thought that might be interesting to try. Couldn't pass it up for the price as high as Arches has been lately. And I got some more cold pressed. And these were a little larger. Um, so they were, their everyday price was 23.03 and I got them for 19. So, oh no, nine by 11? No, this is 10 by 14. Yeah, this was 19. So the other pads were smaller, so I got them for 14. Couldn't pass that up, couldn't pass that up. So I got that, and then I picked up some more. I, I got this last time I was down at that store. Um, I bought six half pans, and they give me a Winsor & Newton um, metal palette for free. And so I bought six more, or actually, I bought more than that, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I think I bought six. Six or seven. Oh, I did buy the white. I bought the white. I bought the alizarin crimson. I bought... The indigo, the Prussian blue, white, alizarin chrisman, indigo, Prussian blue. Oh, I can just count my wrappers because I saved my wrappers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guess I bought eight. So I'm gonna just keep working on this palette until I get it full with Winsor and Newton paints. So and then once I do. I'm going to swatch them and make a swatch card, but I want I don't want to make a swatch card until I have them all so um, All that I want in here So there we go with that. I got those and they were on sale and the, the manager was in there and he gave me a paper to get 25% more off of anything that wasn't on sale so since I bought this, they didn't have any other palettes left to get a palette free. So the girl in there, she gave me a this palette and it's a Van Gogh empty palette box. I, had, I started over and I was so excited, but I thought I'd open it here with you, see how it was. Let me set that aside. So, I don't know how this looks inside. Get that out of the way. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I, I like that. Okay, so that comes out. So, you could fill this with any paints that you wanted. It's sturdy plastic. Lots of mixing area. A sponge. You can put a water brush here. Yeah. 
So that could make a nice travel palette. You know, I could see that right away. So I'm going to have to think about that and see what paints I'm going to use in there. I have some other paint. I might use that for that. So I have some other paints I got for a review from Hobby Lobby. So, okay, and then I got these little Van, the, one of these little Van Gogh boxes. So this is a Van Gogh pocket box. I'm going to do a review on that. It says, pans can be popped out, much space for mixing. This is just the, the classic set, I think, because they had several different sets. They had, um, oh, they had a muted colors and um, a flower set. Kind of... I've heard really good things about this paint and one of the girls that works at um, Jerry's Autorama said or she showed me her she uses these paints and she showed me her swatches that she had done and oh they were just beautiful they was just beautiful so I thought I'd try them and review them so it comes with a little brush Lot, nice mixing wells. Be a good travel set. Okay. All right. Well, this brush. Hmm. It doesn't want to go together. Oh. There it goes. I was doing it the wrong end. So this could be used to, it's open, so when you put it back together, it can dry out. So there's a hole in the end there. So when you take it apart and put it back together, which I always hold my hand so I can hold it steady as I put it back on so I don't harm the brush. So this is a size six. I could see where this would be a good size and it looks like it's synthetic um, so I think this would be a good size for um, floral you know if you was going out in the field um, to do plein air and you wanted to do some florals so that that would be nice make a little plein air kit out of this one yeah I like that and they had some other sets I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to collect them all but you know just a little bit at a time. Okay, so then I got this Alvero Kaznaknik's Master's Art Set. And it had a lot of colors. You know, of course I have yellow ochre um, and ultramarine blue, but it had Mayan orange um, burnt Sienna Light, which I don't have Burnt Sienna Light. I have Burnt Sienna. Um, deep Scarlet, Pyro Red, Neutral Tint, um, Cobalt Blue. Now these are just the small little 5ml tubes. Cobalt Blue. I, You know, I don't know if I have Cobalt Blue. I always go for Ultramarine and Prussian. So, I'm excited to put that in a palette. Okay. So, I'll be excited to use that. And then, I got some Daniel Smith paints that were, are new to me. Some colors that are new to me. This is Quinacridone Red. This is Carbazole Violet. This is Thalo Turquoise. This is Hooker's Green. This is Red Iron Oxide. Don't have that. And this is Sepia. 
I don't have that. Excuse my phone. And this is Hansi Yellow Medium, which I use a lot of yellows, so, um, which, did that come in that too? Hansi, no, that one over there in that other set was Hansi Yellow Deep. So, there we go. There's that. And while I was there, they give me for free this Daniel Smith dot card. And I think we will um, do that right now. So that'll be fun. See which colors I like. Maybe I might have to order some more. So, okay, well, I'm going to get, um, this is a number four brush, and it's just from Hobby Lobby. It's Master's Touch Round. I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. Let's try to adjust my light here. I don't want there to be any glare. However, I want to light it up really well. I got this Ot light from Costco. It's just not all that. I think a regular lamp with daylight bulbs is much better. So, and I'll try to fix that a little bit during editing too. So, okay, let's see if I can zoom in anymore. Nope, that's as much as I can zoom in. So, this we're gonna start with, this is Hansi Yellow Light, which reminds me of a lemon yellow. Very vibrant, activates immediately. Series one paint to um i think that's light fastness and it's a non granulating color semi let me turn that over two is low staining no granulation or yes granulation semi light fastness goes from one excellent to four being fugitive. Okay. So that's pretty good. Light fast. Okay, now here's New Gamboge. And I've got this color in Windsor and Newton. Oh, that fades nice and and Daniel Smith. So I want to leave a little bit of paint on these to try to mix them a little bit. Okay, this next color is Burgundy Yellow Ochre. That's Excellent Light Fast Series 2 paint. One, I can't remember. I'm just going to have to look at them. And then I'll take a picture of this at the end and, and put the key, the color key information. Okay, so here's Opera Pink. I do like Opera. Nice. Very vibrant. That would be a fugitive color. So it's not light fast. Quinacridone Rose. 
Now I have a Carnacridone Rose at home, but I think it's in a different paint. I think it's in M. Graham. I like that. I'm going to compare that to that Quinacridone Red. But that's a good cool red. Pyrrole Scarlet. Ooh, that activated immediately. Nice. Permanent Alizarin Crimson. I have Alizarin Crimson. That's just a nice middle of the road red, true red. It's nice. These are pretty nice colors. Quinacridone Deep Gold. Now I have Quinacridone Gold. Hmm, that's nice. These are pretty good colors. Okay, here's Burnt Sienna, which I have. So, I'm trying to think what colors I would get to put together these Allison Pinto palette. Because, if I would just have to get another color or two, here's Burnt Umber. I have Burnt Umber. Nice chocolate brown color that you expect. Okay, here's sap green. I have sap green. Nice. Already I'm seeing, I'm visualizing flowers and landscapes. Okay, here's Thalo Turquoise, which I just bought. Oh, huh. nice, nice. Hmm, so happy I bought that. Cobalt Teal, I have that. I have that in a couple different brands. I like my core Cobalt Teal the best. But, you know, this is very granulating. I see mixing that. I think I seen where it was mixed with Mars Black and um, Burnt Umber and did some really cool things. Okay, here's manganese blue hue. Now I have manganese blue in M. Graham. And it seems to be a little bit more vibrant in M. Graham. Okay, here's cobalt blue, and that was in the other palette, so that's nice, that's nice. I like that. Glad I got it. It's in a 5ml too. Here's ultramarine blue. I have this. It's good. Okay, I bought this one too. Um... Carbazol Violet. That's one of the Daniel Smiths I bought. Oh, that's nice. Release is real easy. Series 2 paint. They didn't have um, dioxazine purple. So, it could be the same pigment number though. I'll have to look that up. Okay, here's Lavender. Now, I've tried Lavender on another Daniel Smith lot dot card and just haven't been knocked my socks off with it. That's all right. But I think you could get that by mixing. You know, I'm sure that's a mix. And then Moon Glow. Which I have Moon Glow too. Very nice kind of purplish Payne's gray color. So, there's that. Now, I think the only ones I don't have, I don't have, 
I, I might even have this burgundy yellow ochre. I am not sure. But I have yellow ochre. So um, I don't have that quinacridone deep gold. I do have quinacridone gold. I do have burnt sienna. I don't have permanent alizarin crimson. I have alizarin crimson. Um, I just bought this. You know, I think I could put this type of palette together myself with what I have at home. So, this was interesting. This, this was good to do. I'll hold it up so you can see. And I will also put a picture of this at the end of the video. So, that was fun. I always like to do dot cards. I have more dot cards to do at home. So, um, thanks for joining me, guys. See you later. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know I should say that at the beginning of the video. I should say, oh, if you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe. But I always forget. So, like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.